So if you are wondering how in the world can you pay off over $330,000 worth of debt in less than six years, let me tell you, I have a treat for you because I want to be sharing some insights and some nuggets in terms of what you can do to actually start your debt freedom journey in just 11 steps. Come on into the room. Let's go. The Debt Demolisher TV with Sophia Meloni. Hi everyone, it's Sophia Melanie, the Debt Demolisher, here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to help you manage your financial baggage the right way. I hope that you are excited for today because I am super excited. One of the things that I want to talk to you all about today is what are some of the preliminary steps that you can begin to take to get yourself out of debt? So many of you may know this or you may not know this, but I was recently interviewed on Tony Gaskin's page. Check him out, you guys. He is amazing. And he interviewed me on my process and my journey and how I am getting out of debt and how much debt I've paid off and just wanted to allow me to be able to share some nuggets with his personal community. And so if you are not subscribed to Tony Gaskin's page, make sure that you subscribe and also make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and update your perks so that you can be inside of the blessed tribe and the blessed business tribe. So he has created a private space on his YouTube channel to be able to pour into his audience more intimately and more in-depthly when it comes to relationships and even business. So make sure that you check out Tony Gaskins and go to subscribe to his channel, sign up for the Blessed Tribe, sign up for the Blessed Business Tribe. So that way you could also check out the interview that I had done with him. So because that interview was so amazing and so inspirational, I wanted to kind of piggyback off of the conversation that we had in there to kind of speak on it a little bit more. So what I want to do is introduce a series to tell you guys my personal debt freedom journey, how it started, where it's going, and how it took me 11 steps to be able to do it consistently. So with today, I'm going to make this a series. This is going to be the introduction, just speaking to the first step within the 11 steps. And then your job is to come back tomorrow to get step two, to get step three, to get step four, to get step five, and so forth until you reach the ending of the series. And what I want to challenge you to do before we start is after you've heard a lesson, challenge yourself to go back and implement at least one thing that you've learned or one thing that I've shared in this particular video so that it can be applied to your life. One of the things that I always like to make sure that I'm clear on is that what I teach I want people to be able to apply. And it doesn't necessarily have to be applied verbatim as I did it, but you want to look at what I shared and see how you can leverage that information to apply it to your life. But you have to make sure that you are actually taking the step to apply. So don't just house the information, go into action. Because in this space, we are about doing the work. So let's jump into step one. One, step one, the very first thing that I had to do once I was able to realize that I needed to begin my debt freedom journey, I had to find out where to start. And finding out where to start was the process of me gaining information, gaining insight, gaining wisdom, gaining tools from other external sources. And those external sources were financial podcasts. So the very first thing that I did was I went to Google and I searched how to get out of debt, what to do to get out of debt. And I was looking at different articles, reading them, seeing what came up, just kind of see what kind of information was being shared, read through them with a fine tooth comb. And then I started to realize that I needed some inspiration. I needed some images or I needed something that could help me stay on the ball. So I went on Pinterest and I started to create different boards. I started to save things and save items that were on Pinterest in different boards. So I came across a pen on Pinterest. It was for like a blog or an article or something that says, you know, how to get out of $100,000 worth of debt or something along those lines. And when I clicked on the pen, it took me over to 
talent and tie which is the his and her money show and i began to just binge watch the interviews and the showings that they had on their actual blog posts and that was so inspirational to me because i was able to hear other stories of people who were deep in debt working their way out of debt and those who have successfully got out of debt. So what that demonstrated for me is that there is a light at the end of the tunnel that showed me that the possibility was there. I just needed to be exposed to the possibility by checking out platforms and websites and blog posts and Pinterest posts and YouTube videos that house that information. So once I got to the His and Her Money Show, shout out to the His and Her Money Show. They are actually doing amazing, by the way, on YouTube. So you can check them out. But I used to watch them like it was no end. I, wa I listened to every episode that they dropped because for me, the inspiration, the insight that I was able to gain from the interviews helped me so much. It helped me so much in a space because it was able to give me a shift in my perspective. A lot of times we continue into the hole that we are in because we have not been introduced to something else. So if you are someone who is on the fence about wanting to get out of debt or where to start, or you just feel like you're stuck, I want to challenge you to just push yourself to listen to the stories of others. Because when you listen to the stories of others, it's going to ignite something within you. And once you get that fire in you, once you get that awakening in you, it will, it will allow you to be able to at least take one step, at least to attempt to take one step. So if you are in a space where you feel like you may be defeated, you feel like you really don't want to do this, just begin to get that wisdom and hear those stories and get that into your system because eventually it's going to spark a nerve. It's going to spark a nerve. It's going to hit a core and it's going to cause you to say, okay, let me jump into action. Because here's what I want to share with you and make sure that you understand clearly. If you need a change in your perspective, if you need a change in your mindset, you will need a different source to be able to enter into your brain. So for me, allowing the interviews by the his and her money show, listening to the people who they interview because they interview hundreds of people on this show. I was actually interviewed on this show a long time ago. I don't think it's up anymore because the interview was so long ago, but they interview so many people and just hearing their stories is a form of inspiration. It's a form of boost. It's a form of encouragement. It's a form of strategy. It's a strategy approach as well, because when you're going through this journey, and even when you're starting this journey to debt freedom, you have to realize not only is it a financial game, it's also a mental game. So what are you going to do to strengthen both aspects of it, your mind and your money? Now we're going to get to the money piece as we continue to kind of roll through the segment of this series, but I want us to start and focus on step one. Step one is gaining the insight that you need from other financial platforms, from other people's perspectives to be able to gain knowledge, gain wisdom on what you don't already know. Once you get that, be adamant about taking notes be adamant about pulling out the gems that resonate with you. Sometimes you may have to listen to it more than once. One of the strategies that I did is I went back and I watched the episodes or I listened to the episodes at least twice per week, just so that I can get it ingrained in my heart and get it ingrained in my mind because I was introducing a new concept into my brain to help push out that old habit, that old information that I had that wasn't necessarily serving me or my finances in the most healthiest manner. So if you are a podcast person and you just love to be able to listen, work out, you probably really don't want to watch too much video, you can go to podcasts, find a podcast, search on Anchor, search on Apple, wherever podcast episodes are hosted, and just search finance podcast, financial 
freedom, debt freedom, personal finance, and just see what comes up and begin to listen. And you're going to find different people. Some people may resonate with you. Some people may not, but it's just a matter of feeling what connects well with you and seeing what gems that you're able to pull out. Now, if you are a person who like to be on YouTube, like me, I love to be on YouTube. Like I, YouTube is like my go-to space. I listen to YouTube videos all the time and not necessarily watching them. I could just have it playing while I'm either cleaning up or washing dishes or cooking. And I'm still soaking in that information, but I may not necessarily be looking at the video. That's one of the reasons why I like to look at videos that are informational. I like to look at videos that are teaching or speaking on a concept so that I can just be able to internalize it and really understand the words that they are saying. So even with YouTube, you can still get insight from YouTube if you are a person who don't necessarily want to watch the videos. You can just put it on, play it, walk around your house, clean up, do what you need to do, but listen to it and listen to it for what you feel like you need, whatever resonates with you. And then if this is something that you feel like, okay, I need to go back and take notes on, then at that point, you schedule a separate time to come back and watch it and come back and watch it when you're able to sit down and take notes so that you can gather it. So my approach was finding new resources, finding new outlets, gaining as much information as possible to really take over the previous information that I already had in my head that wasn't accurate or serving me in a way that could allow me to operate in the best space in my finances. And I began to invite new information into my mind so that I can then apply that to my life based on the situations that were happening in my life, right? So if you are a reader, another thing you can do is you can go on Amazon and you can search for personal finance books. You can search for books on how to get out of debt. They have eBooks that are available. They have audio books that are available and they have printable books that are available as well. So if you just want to be a person to kind of sit down and read, then go and find a book that can help you get those gems. I actually have a video somewhere under my video list where I spoke to the top uh, was it five? I think it was the top five books that I read that helped with the expansion of the introduction to the shift in my personal finances to really help me get out of debt and work my continue to work my way out of debt. And I'll drop a link to that video so that you'll be able to look at it, but it's very insightful. There's so much wisdom in books. So it just depends on how you like to receive information. If you're a reader and you know that this is what you need, find a book that can give you the insight that you'll be able to read it and retain it so that you can apply it. If you are a listener, then leverage pop podcast. Find a great podcast. If you want to do it based on the ratings, if you want to do it based on the reviews, if you just want to ask a friend and figure out, okay, what are the top five podcasts on finances? You can even Google that. Actually, you can Google that and I'm sure some stuff will come up and start to listen to it. If you are a person who likes to see you want to see the person who was speaking to you so that you're able to feel them, connect with them more intimately, then YouTube is the space for you to be able to sit and watch and learn at the same time. Or you can just play it and listen while you do other things for, for YouTube and the same thing for podcasts. So my challenge to you in this action step is to number one, identify your best method of receiving information. If it's through reading, if it's through listening or if it's through watching. Depending on what that is, I want you to go to that source, go to whatever that outlet is and do a search on how to get out of debt, best books on managing money, best books on budgeting, best books on money mindset, and just see what comes up and begin to read that information. I have some eBooks on my on my website, sophiamelanie.com. I do have a book that I'm in the process of writing. It should be published and coming out soon. Fingers crossed. 
Um, but, but that book that I'm writing is actually on money mindset. So it's more so about the financial awakening and giving you different exercises and things that you can do in terms of getting, shifting your mindset in a more positive manner, but taking action at the same time. So that is forthcoming, but in the interim, you can check out resources and check out books to see what's available. If it's a book, go and find one and start reading it. If it's a video, go on Google or go on YouTube and search uh, how to get out of debt, how to improve your money mindset, how to release financial anxiety, and just see what comes up and begin to listen to those videos or watch those videos. If your outlet is podcast, do a search to say, what are the top 10 finance podcasts that are playing right now and just start to listen to them find one that connects with you and take notes on it so identify your outlet go ahead and do the research to find the actual channel or the book or the podcast that you need to begin to research and indulge and then number three make sure that you take notes and identify an action step that you can take as a result of reading, watching, or listening to that particular content that you are receiving. Okay, so that is it for day one of the series of Debt Freedom. This is going to be an 11-day series that's going to walk you through the 11 steps that I specifically took to be able to get to a space to pay off over $330,000 in less than six years. So my challenge to you is to make sure that you come back and tune in for day two so that we can go into the next step of the series. And I'm so excited, super glad that you're here. Drop in the comments, what was your revelation from today and what you plan on doing next? Never mind, not even what you plan on doing next because I already suggested and recommended what you should do. But let me know, what did you find? What did you discover? What book did you locate? What podcast did you identify? What YouTube video did you see? What YouTube channel did you see? Let me know what you found and what resonated with you the most because I would just love, love, love to support you and encourage you along this journey. Remember, this is a journey. This is a marathon this is not a sprint. You want to make sure that you start with getting your mind right first before you actually jump into the steps so that you can be able to maintain your longevity throughout the process. All right. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you come back again for day two so we can continue to jump into these nuggets. I want to remind you that your financial prosperity awaits you and so does your financial sanity. Let's get into this work. Bye. The Debt Demolisher TV with Sophia Meloni. The Debt Demolisher TV with Sophia Meloni. The Debt Demolisher TV with Sophia.